listen, man, and I want you to listen very close, okay? When Lil J was exposed for being Lil Gay, when he went from the Wolverine and transformed to Tangerine, I stepped up and I spoke up and I said, yo, a lot of this gangsterism, right, as described by the hood, has to do with homosexuality. Oh, the people went crazy. Oh, it was impossible. Because somewhere in people's brains, they think to be gangster, you have to be straight. I don't know why. I also said, yo, what happens in somebody's bedroom has nothing to do with the fact that they're willing to step up and be violent. Also, I said, a lot of these cats, when they were young, they were touched by a man. Or when they went to jail, they were touched by a man. And since then... They've been stepping on other men to find their manhood because a man took the man out of them, you know, because another man made them submit to their will. Now they using violence to make other men submit to their will. You know what I'm saying? And since then, I've been compiling all these videos of these Chicago guys doing gay shit. Y'all have seen the uh, King Von video. Bye, Josh. You know, you seen Lil J sitting in the club inside PC with a man sitting on his lap, damn near twerking. You know, listening to Lil Baby. You couldn't hear the music, but that's what I was imagining. You understand what I'm saying? And then you got Melly, 051 Melly. In a wig. It's crazy. It's all on my channel, man. Then you got Rico Reckless t telling Ann Glizzy he cannot wait to spit in his booty, bro. Imagine that, bro. Pause and imagine that. Pause and imagine that. You opening another man's legs and spitting in that man's booty. Do you take your two fingers and rub the booty after that? I know you're going to be like, ew, pause. Yes, that's what they're doing, though. And, and y'all saying these guys are straight. And they're gangster and this and that and that. And I'm telling you, it looks like homosexuality is in direct conjunction with these guys' gangsterism, bro. And now you got butter coming out and saying... He do the same thing. These guys is booty warriors, man. You gonna see the video of Butter talking about spinning in booty too. You know? We've watched Chicago, you know, with the mindset of entertainment for years. And I think it's time to now watch it and study the psychology of Chicago. It's time to watch it on a psychological level because it's some sick shit. It's some sick shit. Overall, and I always say this, Chicago, right, just lingo alone, swag. Like, these guys got style, swag, the, the way they talk. It's like, you, you, you see the ops even love each other. Like, you see them saying it hit different, even though they act like they hate, uh, 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 what's his name, FYBJ Main. But you see how easily they all influence each other they all grew up together went to the same schools they all love each other's lingo they all it's like it's crazy one guy from one side set comes out with a song called no lacking all sides are not saying no lacking but they hate each other and they're trying to kill each other it's some sick shit bro and look they were able to make the whole world turn our heads and watch this one place in chicago one place one spot in the world, a couple blocks in the world, the whole world turned our heads to look. They had an opportunity to feed their whole entire generations with all the attention because attention is money. And you know what they did? They killed each other. They all killed each other. So what were they struggling with? What pain was they dealing with? Think about it. Psychologically, that's what we need to study. Because if you can make the whole world look at you, it's time to collect the money. Time to collect. Family members got to step up. Yo, yo, yo. Everybody, let's just fake it. Let's just fake it. But no. 
They wanted to kill for clout. It's deeper than rap. And I do think homosexuality, sexual assault, plays a big role in this. And a lot of these things that we laugh at is their pain. You got grown men in county jails lining up to spit in a man's booty and go on YouTube and glamorize that. And we all just glance over it. Watch the video. You're going to hear it yourself. So Scotty Pepper was the first to get his booty spit in in the county. Scotty Pepper from the birds on Little Brown. One of the BDs on Tuka. Shorty ain't got like 24 years. Knock him out, spitting his ass on Tuka. And that's the trend in the county, though. Off Shorty. Because Division 6 get wild. They gonna get wild right now in Division 6. All them going home. Ain't nobody bond over there in Division 6 more than motherfucking 20K. All you going home. But these are the ones that's chasing it. Chasing it, chasing them. My dear father really chasing it, trying to catch you and get that ass. When my say get that butt, bro, we're going to spit in your booty. You talking to a nigga on my dead father. Every deck I went on, if we wasn't getting a girt, they was trying to get our girt. So you ain't going to feed that to me, gang. And this, listen, I'm butter, right? In real life, I know who I am. Now, when you go to the county, you be like, dude, what the fuck shorty was on in here? I was funny being this bitch squeaking in, he going to get your girt. I'm chasing that girt, what, not no more, because that's a risk of rape case. I don't want no rape. I don't so want no rape. you used to be in there spitting nigga booty? I don't know. You come out. Or attempting to? Nah, man, you know, I just hang with, I hang with the girt getters. So you hang girt. with the booty spitters? You know that. You know that. You about to go show a picture in a room. You live at the, I know you got a room. You dumbass nigga. What? Your big ass got a, you got a room. You stupid ass. Hey, this how you embarrass a nigga from D.C. Hey, hey, I can't wait to knock you out of spitting your ass. I can't wait to knock you out of spitting your ass. Hey, look at this though, bro. This is right, look.